So why do Jewish people love Chinese food? Did they mistake uh, wontons for crapless? Hey, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So I'm here on the Lower East Side and I'm here to talk about Chinese food. Yes, when it comes to Chinese food, uh, people in America loved it. Uh, it's one of the most commonly eaten ethnic food, not surprisingly, uh, because it's often associated with value, uh, convenience, and also with the Jewish American community. Yep. Uh, it's a stereotype that's often joked about, especially around Christmas time. But this stereotype actually has some factual basis to it. And it all started here in my beloved home city, New York, on the Lower East Side in the late 19th century. I'm hungry. What about Chinese? This place must be good. Jewish Americans affinity with Chinese food is not only a topic worth visiting but also a fascinating one. It shows the progression of Jewish Americans and perhaps also a little defiance that some of them showed for their religion which led to their embrace of Chinese food. Now all this development would not have been possible without the immigration of Chinese to New York as well. So it all started on the Lower East Side in New York City in the late 19th century. So the Chinese Exclusion Act, which was a federal law signed in 1882 uh, prohibiting all immigration of Chinese laborers, had pretty much created an unwelcoming and unsafe environment for the Chinese railroad workers that were living in San Francisco then. So a lot of them decided to actually pack up and leave San Francisco and many of them decided to move to New York and settle in the Lower East Side. So many of these Chinese transplants from California turned to cooking and opening restaurants to make a living, which explains why Chinese American food differs greatly from Chinese food from China, because these immigrants were not chef to begin with. They were not classically trained chef. They were Chinese laborers that laid railroad tracks in San Francisco. So by the late 19th century, there were already close to a million Jewish immigrants from Eastern Europe living in New York. And many of them lived side by side with these Chinese immigrants on the Lower East Side. So the late 19th century saw many food service establishments on the Lower East Side. Uh, even the Jewish immigrants opened up Delhi serving their own people. But outside of Delhi, the options when it comes to eating for Jewish immigrants were rather limited. Germans ran restaurants that would only serve Germans. So there were also Italian restaurants too, but with crucifixes everywhere inside the restaurant, that would not be uh, the dining place of choice for the Jewish immigrants. And then there were the Irish immigrants, but you know how their food was. So that leaves the Chinese immigrants and their restaurants. So aside from the reason of having limited choices to dine at, why were the Jewish immigrants in the Lower East Side attracted to Chinese restaurants? Well, here are a few reasons. In fact, Jewish immigrants were just guaylo, or white people, to the Chinese immigrants, so naturally they gave the Jews a sense of security when eating at Chinese restaurants. And of course, there is a, uh, a feeling of exoticness when eating at Chinese restaurant. So China was really far away from where Jewish immigrants grew up, uh, which was Europe. So eating at Chinese restaurant gave them an exotic feeling. Well, Chinese do not eat much dairy, so naturally they would not blend dairy with meat in their cooking, hence preserving the kosher law. In fact, some Jews would even want to eat at Chinese restaurant just to defy their custom and religion a bit, proving that they could be somewhat sophisticated and urban.
Treif means food that was prohibited by the Jewish dietary law. Uh, basically, uh, you know, if it's non-kosher, you can't really eat them. However, if you can't really see them, they are considered safe treif. Uh, so, for example, you know, if you take a plate of fried rice from a Chinese restaurant, there are shrimps in there, but usually they are cut and diced up so small, you can't really see them. Therefore, it's considered safe treif and you can eat them. And of course, Chinese restaurant being open on Christmas Day helps. I know that's a stereotype, but it does help tremendously. And in the United States, is no, I just ask you where you're at on Christmas. <laughs> you know, like all Jews, I was probably at a Chinese restaurant. Uh -huh. So there you have it. New York was where the Jews fell in love with Chinese food and have formed many years of meaningful relationship with it. In fact, you can even find kosher Chinese restaurants in New York City, which of course is closed from sundown on Friday to all day Saturday to observe Sabbath. So there you have it. So all these are reasons why Chinese food have become such an important part of the Jewish American culture. This is a phenomenon that usually happens in multiracial society, which if you ask me, is a great thing. <laughs>